Hey everybody, Steve here, back in the kitchen, back home. I've, I've had a nice long break here from, from work, from uh, from flying. Uh, been home, uh, well, this will be three weeks uh, in between trips. Get ready to leave Sunday to go out uh, with Boeing. But uh, home, and guess who's coming home tonight? Bella. She's coming home from school. Uh, just a quick little weekend getaway. We're going to go see a show tomorrow night. Uh, My Fair Lady here in Charleston. Looking forward to that. So I'm making up a little batch of uh, sobs. Look, we had chicken left over. And we're like, well, what are we going to do with this? And uh, I went and uh, found one of mom's old recipes for chicken terrazzini. So we're going to give that a try. Now I mentioned that to, to the ravishing Mrs. Redder and she was like, hmm. <laughs> and because uh, it involves pasta and, and mixing it together with pasta and then baking it in the oven. So uh, don't have a lot of good uh, experience, well, a lot of good uh, experiences with uh, with baked pasta. Uh, we'll see how this goes. So looking forward to it. It's in the oven now. Um, I'm about to get it out and, uh, and try it here. Uh, but but uh, all, the, all the recipe and the directions are down below. Uh, if you want to follow along, it's pretty easy. So I'm, I'm hoping this is pretty tasty. Now I tasted the sauce and the sauce is good. And I followed mom's recipe, but I added a little bit of a tweak. There was a comment, and one of the comments in the, in the, in the uh, video was about adding a little nutmeg to the cream sauce, to the white sauce. Mmm, mmm, yes. And I did that and the sauce is tasty. So I'm a big fan of the nutmeg and the cream sauce, uh, white sauce. Thing. So I, I tweaked it just a little bit. So it's like mom's, but exactly the same, only different. <laughs> so anyway, let's get cracking. So first thing over medium heat, I'm gonna melt my six tablespoons of butter. This is salted butter. And then you can probably see bubbling in the background. I got my water's bubbling now. I'm gonna go ahead and add a, and this is one thing mom didn't do. She said, uh, uh, she added salt later. I, I like to salt the water when I make my pasta. A little bit of salt in there, a little bit of kosher salt. And I'm gonna add my linguine pasta here, just dried pasta, my water. And I'm gonna cook it al dente because ravishing Mrs. Ritter pointed out the worst thing with baked pasta dishes is if, if it's overcooked pasta, um, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be nasty. So, one thing cool, I, I was at a coffee shop uh, not too long ago, and uh, they use linguine noodles for coffee stirs. I thought that was a pretty ingenious uh, idea. I guess you get a little some coffee flavored linguine, I guess. So she broke the noodles up. I, I don't, I like longer noodles. I kind of keep it going here. And we'll see how this works out, but I'm gonna cook it Al dente is what I'm looking for, so I've got the timer set for 10 minutes. I'm gonna get this butter melting here. This is for the white sauce. So we'll get this butter melted, get these noodles all in and cooking, and we'll be right back, stand by one. All right, back again. So we don't want that butter to brown. Turn the heat down a little bit here. I'm gonna add my flour in. And I'm gonna whisk that in. Kind of get that going, get it stirred up here. Mix all that flour in with the butter. Looking good, got my noodles bubbling away. That. I have a buttery roux here, huh? Out of this, I'm gonna add my She called for three cups and ended up adding a little bit more. So I'm gonna add, there's one cup. Got these little, uh, I think these are, what are these, half pint, one pint. I think it's two cups per pint. Yep. Okay, add that. Stir that around, make sure you get all those big clumps mixed up. I added about half there. 
those noodles cooking. Now those are a little thinner linguine noodles. I may, uh, I may go a little bit less than 10 minutes. We'll check that and see. Stirring this around, looks like all the big clumps of flour and butter are broken down. Whisking that together. I'm gonna add a third cup of half and half. I toyed with the idea of going um, with just heavy, like heavy whipping cream. I really like a creamy, you know, decadent uh, sauce like that, especially with like Alfredo noodles, but uh, we'll follow this a little closely. I am going to modify mom's recipe just a little bit. I did see a comment in her video, which if you look up here, uh, there's a link to her video. Um, Somebody left a comment about adding nutmeg, and I've heard that a couple times now. Uh, when I made the Alfredo, homemade Alfredo sauce, and um, somebody mentioned that about adding nutmeg, and it really makes a difference. So I'm gonna try that with this. I'm gonna add a little nutmeg to my sauce. Again, I've got this over kind of medium, low. I just wanna get this, I don't want it to boil, but I want it to thicken a little bit, so three cups and now to this I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of here it is nutmeg all right and then I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt that's a little bit more of a teaspoon teaspoon of salt there. There we go. All right. Stir that together. Get that all mixed together well. And again, I don't want this to boil, but I'm gonna, I just want it heating up. I want it just a little bit of steam coming off of it just to, to get it to thicken a little bit. That's what I'm looking for. Because it's we're gonna cook this in the oven. And it'll it'll uh, it should thicken up some more there. So there's my white sauce going. My noodles are going back there, and I will uh, we'll go ahead and get uh, get working on the chicken here. So stand by one. All right. So I've, I'm gonna go a little heavier with the chicken. I want two pounds. You, Mom's recipe called for one pound. Uh, I'm gonna go a little heavier because I like chicken. You'll also notice I want, I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on the mushrooms too because I like mushrooms and Bella's coming home from school today. I'm gonna go see a show tomorrow night. She's coming home to uh, to visit. Can't wait to see her. So we're looking to just we're not looking to brown the chicken here, so I'm gonna kind of be careful here. Watch this. I put a couple of tablespoons of uh, olive oil in. Got myself a big skillet. And I think that my pasta is just about done. Coming up on 10 minutes. Let's check and see. I'm gonna pull a noodle out here. Let's see. You taste it. If it's got a little snap to it, yeah, like inside it's still got just a tad bit of a crunch to it. About another minute. Stirring my white sauce, keeping it from burning. Don't want it to bubble either. Watching that chicken. Now what I'm looking for, I'm just, I'm looking at turn it white, basically, cook it, mostly. And then right before all the pink is gone, I'm gonna dump in my celery. I, I cut up about four stalks of celery and about a packet, I use whole uh, mushrooms because they were cheaper, a uh, whole pack of uh, mushrooms. And I cut those up, you'll see how much that is. You can play around with it if you like lots of mushrooms or not, or whatever so I'm gonna put 
a little bit of the salt here. Huh? You know, those of you that are salt conscious, you know, you can obviously cut this down, but uh, I find that it does make the uh, food taste much better. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my noodles. Now I'm gonna drain those, set those to the side. I don't want them to overcook. And keep this going. I'm gonna put my celery in here in a second. Let me drain my noodles. kitchen so we'll, we'll be right back we'll drain the noodles and then we'll uh, be ready to put the celery in the chicken stand by one all right so see the chicken there's a little bit of pink left but mostly it's it's cooked nah, that's okay just I want to be careful not to brown this what I'm gonna do is add my celery so you can see sprout that was from about four stalks of celery <clears throat> not about it was four stalks of celery Cut it fairly thin, and you know, like Mom said, if you uh, if, when you add the celery in here, that's pretty much going to stop the the brown in there because the water will cook out of the celery, and uh, it'll cook out of that celery and and keep the chicken from browning. So we've been watching a show, uh, the Ravishing Mrs. River and I, called Julia. And it's basically kind of a biopic of, well, not a biopic. It's like a dramatization of Julia Child and how she kind of got started. Really a great show. Really interesting show. The characters on it are so good. Of course, she was she was quite the character, Julia Child. But uh, anyway, I uh, I had a wild idea. to. I was inspired last night. I was like, oh, I'm going to make some crepe Suzette for Bella tomorrow. And then I, I kind of looked at the recipe a little bit, and I'm like, ah, that's an awful lot of work. <laughs> for for the time that I have and the time she's home, and, and, and Arlene's like, she's probably going to sleep till noon tomorrow. <laughs> so she's been at school, and she's so busy. So I'm going to let this uh, let this cook here a little bit uh, for uh, a, few or a couple of minutes, and then we'll put our mushrooms in. So we'll be right back. Hold on. All right, back again. Now I'm going to add in my mushrooms. Like I said, I like a lot of mushrooms. Bella loves mushrooms. I always tend to go a little heavy on the mushrooms. Stir those in. I want to let these kind of cook down. I want to kind of sweat these mushrooms a little bit. So we'll put these in, keep them stirring. We'll probably go anywhere from three to five minutes here more um, just to cook these a little bit more. Mom put a top over the top to help the mushrooms kind of cook down a little bit more. That's something you can do as well. We'll see how this works. So I'm going to let these cook down a little bit more and then uh, keep my stir in my white sauce. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so I ended up putting a top over this just to kind of help the mushrooms sweat down. So it's probably three to five minutes, something like that, just to kind of help cook it down. You can see all the water that's been released from the mushrooms and from the celery. And we'll keep all that. Why not? So <clears throat> now what I want to do is, I'm going to go ahead and turn my sauce off. Keep it, you got to keep an eye on that, make sure the bottom doesn't burn. So what I want to do is take my pasta and that's the big question is you put it in this pot or do you put it in here? Well, I'm going to just put it in the skillet. Turn all the heats off because I want to just mix this pasta in with the, with the chicken and mushrooms. And like mom said, I mean, you can, you could just at this point just You know, serve it as is. Just put the hot sauce over top of it. Um, and I, uh, I'm kind of cutting these noodles up to help help mix it together. So I'm just kind of chopping them a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and then just put the, the sauce on top. You could do that. Her point is that uh, adding the sauce, 
and then putting it in a in a, in a uh, casserole dish and then letting it cook uh, really infuses the flavors, which I'm all about that. So, <clears throat> so mixing all that together, looking pretty good. Smells good too. I just love mushrooms, man. I do. I'm like Bella. I love mushrooms. Gives it a nice earthy smell. You could see that. That's a whole lot. Now this may quickly uh, go past my. Uh, here's my sauce. It's kind of keeping up here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put about half of it in here. Mix it together. See how this works. Mix it together. Get all that creamy goodness all through infused all through is we're going to pour this into that casserole dish and cooking it in the oven is going to help really kind of get bring it all together so when mom made it you see in the video or her video her white sauce was a little thicker uh, mine ended up being a little thinner of course she didn't use nutmeg but uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about the nutmeg. I, I do love a little bit of nutmeg in my fettuccine Alfredo. You can see that sauce is all through there. I'll add a little bit more. She, she ended up going with a little bit more half and half to thicken it or to thin it out a little bit. Uh, I don't think that I'm gonna need to do that because uh, this is looking like plenty enough. Mixing this all together. Ooh, man, that looks good. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, it really has a... Oh, I can't wait. And of course, you know, put, cooking it in the, uh, in the dish uh, is also gonna... Um, you're gonna be able to put the breadcrumbs over the top. So she she made some homemade breadcrumbs and she had from leftover bread she kept and all that. I just went ahead with some, some just regular old breadcrumbs. And now uh, she recommended plain, which is what I got, um, cause the, the flavored kind that she said that, you know, this has a real kind of mild taste. You don't want to overpower it with too many herbs and everything else. So I'll take her word for it. She's a much better cook than I am, so. All right, mix them all together. Now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put this in a casserole dish, so stand by one, let me. All right, here it is. Put it in, it fit in nicely. So two pounds of chicken, all that, all those mushrooms, the sauce and everything else fit in real nicely into this. Um, I'm just kind of spreading it out evenly here. Of course, you have a couple of leftover mushrooms in the pan after I poured it out and tried it. Oh, this is gonna be good. So now what I wanna do is, uh, the only thing I'm kind of warning about is, uh, got a little bit extra sauce on this side. I'll spread this around a little bit. Uh, I poured it in and that looks okay. I think it's gonna kinda even out here. Spread it around evenly, looks good. Mmm, sauce is good. All right. So what I want to do now is put my breadcrumbs over the top. So two cups of breadcrumbs, whatever it takes to kind of evenly coat the top of this. She used buttered breadcrumbs like homemade. I'm just going to go with just, just these breadcrumbs. Just kind of evenly spread it around over the top here. This will kind of soak up the moisture as this cooks. Now I've preheated my oven 325 and I'm going to cook it for 30 minutes just to get it bubbling. And of course it's going to bubble right up to these breadcrumbs, soak in these breadcrumbs. This might be a little bit more than two cups, but that's okay. Cause I like, I like the breadcrumbs and lots of, lots of flavor on the top. There it is in the oven. It's going to go uh, for 30 minutes and we'll be back. See how it looks. Now? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Chicken uh, Tetrazzini, and uh, smells great. 
make the house smell nice, nice and hot. I'm gonna be careful not to burn my mouth. Mm. That sauce is good. Maybe one thing that I would do different is maybe mix some like a little bit softened butter in with the breadcrumbs and put it over the top. I think that was one thing mom had nailed was the buttered breadcrumbs. I was expecting the sauce to bubble up more into the to the breadcrumbs, but it didn't. But it's good. That's a nice touch to it. Mm -mm. And the noodles are nice, not overcooked. Ravishing Mrs. Ritter is filming me right now. That was her biggest concern. But you go al dente with the fettuccine, about 10 minutes, and then uh, it worked out real nice. So the, fed, the noodles are actually really good. Mm, that's good. And it's pretty easy. So pretty tasty. This free, actually freezes well. Actually, it does. And I'll admit the ravishing Mrs. Ritter also had her doubts about that, but they don't, it freezes well. So what do you think, does it smell good? They can't see you shaking your head from behind the camera. <laughs> see the big the big head nod I'm in trouble all right so hope you enjoy it give it a try and uh, like I said the the video I posted the video also I tagged it to mom's old video as well but uh, try give it a try let me know what you think leave the comments down below and uh, we'll see you next time take care